Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this week's short video, I'm gonna show you how to use multi-select date filters within Snowside dashboards. I hope you find it useful. My name's Adam Morton, and I've written a couple of books on Snowflake. I've also been lucky enough to speak in front of my peers on a number of occasions. I've lived and worked in the UK, Europe, and Australia during my career. And today, I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can fulfill their career potential by adding as much value as I can around data strategy and modern cloud data platforms. Okay, so this demo is really gonna help you then if you wanna provide your users to interactively pick a date range or date increment to apply as a filter to your query that sits behind a Snowside dashboard. So let me let me show you how easy this is. So I'm in Snowside, Snowflake's web UI. I've clicked dashboards on the left-hand side. I'm gonna create a brand new dashboard from scratch and I'm gonna give it a name. Multi-filter test. I'm gonna create the dashboard and then I need to go add a new tile from SQL worksheet. Before I do anything, I just wanna show you what's in the filters. If I go top left, click the little sliders, click manage filters, I've got two system predefined filters set up. First one is called date bucket. That allows you to group by in your query a day, a week or month and so on. And the date range allows you to apply and offer the user an interactive date range selection, including time zone, where they can apply that as part of your, your where clause. So that's already set up. Let me show you how to apply it to your query and how easy it is. The first thing that we're going to start with is that we're going to start with a basic query with no date filters. Um, looks like this. Um, order date. Um, and I'm going to adjust this query in a moment, which is why it looks a bit um, unusual. And um, I'm just going to build up over time using the Snowflake sample data um, from the data from the orders table. So if I execute that, you can see I'm just getting um, the dates back as expected. But now I want to add a filter. So I want to add a where clause um, on order date, which applies a date range. So I'm just going to type out where... What a date is equal colon and then date range. So now when I execute that, query produces no results, which is fine because it automatically defaults to yesterday, the last day. If I open this up and I pick all time and apply that, it's gonna apply a date range and return all the data there in the table. Like you see these dates go back quite some way. So I'm not going to interactively um, pop that in there. But if I save that and return to the dashboard, I now have my date increments I can pick. I can also do a custom one and pick my date ranges and also my time zone as well. So that's how you use the date range. But how also do we apply the date bucket as well to group by dates? If I go back into my query and edit my query, we're gonna build upon what we've got here and the query now will start to make a lot more sense. And we're gonna say group by and our colon again, and this time date bucket. In here now, in the parentheses or brackets, we need to specify how and what date we wanna group the data set by. So we're gonna use order date again. like so, and then we're also gonna add order by, order date. Okay, now we'll run that. Oh, and what I need to do is obviously apply an aggregate as part of the query. So here we go. So basically, now the query is correct. We'll take a look at how many orders by date, and we're providing the user now with an interactive date range and date bucket selection. So if we look at our filters that we've got here now as part of the dashboard, we're looking at all time on the date range. And notice how we can also allow the user to group the dates by a different date increment. We may need to adjust the query a bit to get the results coming back in the right way, 
but that's essentially how easy it is to apply data filters within a dashboard and give your users some control over what information they see.